She doesn't believe there's an atom of meaning in it, but none of them attempted to explain the paper. If there's no meaning in it, said the king, that saves a world of trouble, you know, as we needn't try to find any. And yet I don't know, he went on, spreading out the verses on his knee and looking at them with one eye. I seem to see some meaning in them after all. Said I could not swim. You can't swim, can you? he added, turning to the knave. The knave shook his head sadly. Do I look like it? he said, which he certainly did not, being made entirely of cardboard. All right, so far, said the king, and he went on muttering over the verses to himself. We know it to be true. Well, that's the jury, of course. I gave her one, they gave him two. Why, that must be what he did with the tarts, you know. But it goes on. They all returned from him to you, said Alice. Why, there they are, said the king triumphantly, pointing to the tarts on the table. Nothing can be clearer than that. Then again, before she had this fit. You never had fits, my dear, I think. He said to the queen, Never! said the queen, furiously throwing an inkstand at the lizard as she spoke. The unfortunate little Bill had left off writing on his slate with one finger, as he found it made no mark, but he now hastily began again, using the ink that was trickling down his face as long as it lasted. Then the words don't fit you, said the king, looking round the court with a smile. There was a dead silence. It's a pun! the king added in an angry tone, and everybody laughed. Let the jury consider their verdict, the king said for about the twentieth time that day. No, no, said the queen. Sentence first, verdict afterwards. Stuff and nonsense, said Alice loudly. The idea of having the sentence first. Hold your tongue, said the queen, turning purple. I won't, said Alice. Off with her head! The queen shouted at the top of her voice. Nobody moved.